Hi friends, welcome to this installation of Oracle 19C. I have already created the home directory path. If you have done my previous lecture, previous lab, it is similar to that. We just need to unpack or unzip the file which I have downloaded in my temp folder. So this is the Oracle 19C zip file. You just extract the file in your Oracle home directory which we have learned in my previous lecture of 12C. Up to that point it is same. So whatever the changes are, we'll take a look at those changes. So installation is quite straightforward. So I have unpacked the files and run the installer. Okay. So install is started. So it is uh, similar to 12C installation. Uh, there is not much of a difference as far as interface and installer is concerned. If you will see, see that difference here. So it's up to, uh, you know, first few steps it is exactly the same. Absolutely there is no gap and there is no difference. So server class, enterprise edition. 19c you can see that oracle base inventory directory group name is o install general purpose so we'll go straightforward methods but yes we are going to keep the global database name as cdb1 and system identifier cdb and uh, container database is going to be cd cdb1 or pluggable database uh, if you want to create we can create it with the name pdb1 So here it is global database name CDB1 that is global system identifier and the pluggable database is PDB1. Once you are satisfied you can start that. So we need to enable sample schemas because we need sample database for our ORDS Oracle, uh, Oracle RESTful data services. So we are going to install the sample schema and after that click on next. And this is the data file location. We are not registering with the cloud. We will continue. Go ahead with this. Enable recovery not required. And we are going to keep the same password for all users that is Oracle. It will help us you know in keeping the same password for all the users not keeping separate password for separate users weak password so we uh, it just give the warning so we click on the warning and we are okay with it so everything is fine now let's take a look at the summary after this point and after that you know it will start the installer the best part of 19c is it can uh, you know ru run the root scripts automatically and that is which will uh, which we had to manually run in 12c uh, we have to just provide the sudo details super user user id and password so root password is to be provided and it will take care of the rest of the things automatically that's the best part of it so uh, the installation started So this is what automatically will be run by this programmer. So we don't have to manually run them. So you click on yes because we provided the credentials for running the script. That's the best part. So it will run the script automatically. So installation is about to complete now.
so it is configuring the database oracle net configuration assistant is wizard is running so installation is complete you can take a look at the url we can access the inter cloud manager at this uh, enterprise manager at the url given it is oracle.example.com colon double five double zero slash enterprise manager so with this uh, uh, you know uh, the oracle enterprise manager is also available and we have successfully uh, completed as far as this part first part of the installation is concerned uh, running the installer a part is done now let's move on to the next part once we uh, you know finish this installation okay yeah now close it and let's continue let's take a look at the st status of the listener the command is lsnr ctl status that will show the status of the listener whether the listener is running successfully or not all right once we are confirmed that listener is uh, running successfully that means we are uh, ready to connect to the oracle instance now let's take a look at this file e viitc scripts i have created this file for setting up the environment for uh, this oracle now this script basically if you look at it has uh, all the environment variables which are required for running this oracle 19c database oracle host name unique name oracle base oracle home directory or inventory oracle sid pdb name data directory all right these environment variables are required so that we run this script every time we we'll, uh, you know start our oracle database or we can what we can do is we can call this script from the file uh, bash underscore profile so we can save it and we can uh, set the path into bash underscore profile and copy it to that location and we can uh, run that uh, you know to execute this all right and that will help us uh, calling the script and uh, running the database every time we need it that's all for this session thank you so much bye bye